Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so um, I've got back from the upholsterers, uh, the console. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Um, now, I don't have a price on how much it costs to get this done. Um, possibly maybe under $100 um, using your vinyl, or probably a little bit more. Um, so you can see the stitching goes all the way around. And I'll just rotate it around. So the top is one piece. Uh, one little bit disappointing bit is that he cut these out but overlaid just this piece here. So I won't know until I get the radio in and see how it looks like. This one, it doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter too much, but this one did matter. And um, but I'd, because we're tradies, uh, we did work for the upholsterer, Kevin the upholsterer, and um, so he owed us one, so he helped us do this. All right, so uh, it's all stapled on the inside. Stapled around here. And everything's pretty much ready to go. So all I gotta do, this is, this is the section here that I need to, it's basically just gonna cut with the razor blade through it. And then that'll go around uh, the mirror. There's no other way I can really do it. I can't take the mirror off, uh, put a hole through it, and then remount the mirror. It's just too hard. So I'm just gonna basically cut that through there. So, all right, so as usual, got all my gear laid out. I've got my radio. Uh, I've got my handset. Now I've got this plastic uh, microphone bracket clip. Now you get these from J-Card, they're not too expensive. Um, I'm not a fan of the steel ones. So we'll just do an opening here. So you get a couple of self tappers, which is perfect. And that'll sit like that on the side. So, being upside down, you know, you can, you can pretty much mount it anywhere you want, really. I think the last time I had it mounted there, uh, I need to check my, it's probably, the, it's gonna be the last thing I put 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 in, um, because you gotta remember when, you, when you're driving along and you wanna communicate to someone, um, you just basically put your hand up, grab the mic, I'll just do a, Bit of a system here, you can actually just hit the mic, talk what you wanted, you know, say what you need to say, and just let go again. Um, with the amount of uh, mobile phone cameras out there, having something to be brought up to your mouth to, to talk um, can look like a mobile phone. So if you if you're doing it from above, um, it's not so obvious, and um, obviously you aren't using a mobile phone. You're just talking to a mic. All right, so I'm gonna look at mounting this system now. I didn't use uh, the factory bracket on this. Um, I thought I'll just save that for another radio some other time. Um, I manufactured my own, so I actually glued these in. Um, I used Araldite. Araldite's quite strong. Um, it's got old Poppy's glue. Um, it's, it's good. It also has self tappers, which I cut down, and I've done that with the front mount as well. So that goes through the top. So it's not only glued, but it's screwed on. All right, so let's get into it. I'll cover everything. Oh, I'm not using these ones as well. Um, as you can see, I could barely fit the original screws in there. That fits that side, but it doesn't fit this side. Oh, it does. But I, ch I just chose not to use those ones. I'll, I'll use, I'll save them for the other brackets. So I'm using that, those instead. Uh, they're um, M5 by 10 mil. Um, I've got these metal self-tappers. Um, that's where this plate comes in. I haven't painted it yet. I just need to do the final bits and pieces. But being that the front, this is the rear. This will actually sit 
like that. Okay, so I made a bit of an inlay at the top underneath here. So I need to work out where the center is. Um, drill through reasonably high. On mine, I've got the cargo barrier. So I'll put two holes in that. Um, and worked out where they're gonna go. Uh, just countersink these as well, so it's a bit flatter. Uh, then I'll give that a paint. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, what else have I got? Um, obviously, I've got to do the electrical. Uh, I've already ran. Um, I need to do a video, actually. I'll probably do a video by the time you watch this uh, about running your cables. Um, so I've got one plug to, to put in. The other plug is a factory plug from the, uh, the smaller antenna I'm using. And the larger AM antenna, uh, I've, I've cut it and I'll go through... Um, the process of fitting one of these off it's it's probably going to be a bit difficult in the car but um, there, there is a process you need to go through to get a good connection all right so I covered all that this is the, the speaker now this is one of those portable um, extender speakers um, that you can buy from Jcar um, I think they're made by Benelec um, I pulled mine, well one, one brand is Benelec, uh, I pulled this one apart completely, um, the lead was extremely long, so being an electrician I just cut, soldered and heat shrunk to shorten the length of it, I mean it's only going to go from, from there to there anyway in the back of the radio, so it didn't need to be too long. So I'm going to get into this and uh, get cracking. Um, it's merely an update, um, there's probably no point having a really long video be fitting all this out, I think you've got the idea, okay, I didn't actually miss this bracket here, That that's actually mounted here, and in another video I'll show you previous video, by the time I load this one up I should say, I'll show you how that, that fits to there, so that's the front mount. This one's here's the rear mount. Okay, Jimny specific only for a JB74. Oh, this way. That way. That's it. Like that. So these don't need to be painted, but I'm going to paint this one black. Um, if you don't have a cargo barrier like I do, um, you probably need to go the same colour as the what's uh, interior you have which is all grey anyway so it'll be, it's going to be this mid mid grey so I think I've covered everything um, oh, oh, also for those guys that would like to make their own I have a template now this is an exact fit to what's on here and but you've got to add 7mm and then add 7mm at the end here as well. So any of you guys that you want to make your own. Um, now I've been approached by a couple of people uh, when I first started making this and I never actually finished it. Um, to make it into a pre-production before even, before even the Department of Interior actually had their released um, I actually declined the offer because I, I, I just do this for fun. I don't, I'm not doing it for making money. So I am happy to share my designs. Um, and uh, that's all through the JB74 Jimny uh, owners of Australia page only. That's only for people that are on that and no one else. All right. So uh, but we'll work that out later. All right. I'll leave it there. We're going to get started and uh, we'll do an update when we're finished. See you in a bit. Okay, so that's the radio fitted, radio and speaker so far. So, get an idea. Something like that. Alright, so, that <clears throat> uh, in, absolutely no problem at all. Radio fitted right in. Um, See a bit of a gap there, it's, I'm not too worried about it. I can always put a bit of black foam 
uh, just inside here, uh, which is probably what I'll do, um, just to fill that gap in a little bit. Um, now I'll take down all the cabling inside it for the auxiliary speaker. Um, you remember when you put your plugs in, see the plug here, the cable, you want it to keep it flush as you can. So it's, it's gonna be coming out directly that way. And that's above the factory um, interior light, which is gonna be here. And there's plenty of room there for cable to go around. I've, you, know, you, you know I'm running two antennas for this radio. This is an AM, which is the old 27 megahertz and a 40 channel UHF. Um, it's, it's an older model. Um, they don't make these anymore. Um, they're a fantastic radio. Um, so this is a digital version of a crystal set that they released as their earlier um, analog style radios uh, on the 27 megahertz. So yeah, so the, pretty much the next step now is to do this back section here. Um, I'll work that out where the screws are going. Paint that, remount, and then we're going to do the fit out in the car. So that's until next time. Alrighty guys, so we're just going to call it a day. Um, I'm pretty happy the way it's turned out so far and um, yeah, look forward to uh, what it looks like when we're done. Oh, alrighty. See you guys.